What's up, guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day and staying safe during these hard times. So, um, I know you guys have been saying, Landon, why haven't you been posting? Perry, why haven't you been posting? Like I said in my last, in our last video, it's been, we've been really packed. And today, it is raining outside pretty, pretty bad. It's going to be all weekend. So, today, so when it quits, I'm going to be going hunting for something. So, today, I just want to give you guys a rundown of what I'm gonna, kind of weapons I'm going to be using to hunt. First up was, is going to be. This is one of my favorite guns. If you can call it a gun. This right here. This is a CO2 fully automatic BB pistol. It is fully automatic. It takes a CO2. It's that little thing, right? That little silver thing. Well, that little round thing. This right here. That's the little container for my CO2 right there. It can hold about, eh, roughly 20 bullets. Um, you got your safety on both sides. You can, okay, I'm just going to take my clip out right quick. I mean, it ain't loaded, but, you know, you can... If you already have one in the chamber, put my phone up, pull your hammer back, it's done. You know, no bullets going to fly because I put it on safety. My hammer dropped, but it won't fire. It's no CO2 gas. Okay. Slide. And then here. And I can actually move this little trigger right here up. And it locks that. Like that. This. And it does blow back. For when, when you empty it out. It, it looks like that. Because it's emptied. So, you know, pretty good. You know. Um, this is my pistol. Very handy. Very fun. On fully auto is also semi-auto. This is my case. I can hold an extra clip, CO2, whatever in here. This little thing right here. It's Velcro. I slide whatever down in there. Watch it. Um, it is clip, so I can just buckle it like that, or I can just do that. See my buckle and everything is up there, and it's got this little button. If I can get get it, oh yeah, right there. Let me turn on another light because it's kind of hard to see, probably. It being all black. Okay. Yeah, right there. You can see it. That little thing. And on this outside. You know, just. Bam. She's latched. So, that is my pistol. It's very fun to shoot. Not too accurate. I mean, but you put it on fully auto. You take it squirrel hunting. Put it on your belt. Which I can put it on my belt. And say you're squirrel hunting with a shotgun. Um, or hey, babies. Or pellets. Which we'll get to that here in a second. Um, say you just wound it. I would pull this thing out. And I was empty. I'd pull this thing out. Spray and pray. So... 
Um, there's this. I can tighten it up, make sure it's snug. Next, we're going to move on to one of my rifles. Now, I've already done two videos on this gun. This is my sn B Pellet Sniper Rifle. Now, I am in my room right now. Don't bother the... Don't mind the mess. You know, don't mind it. <laughs> Um, I probably are, I've already gave you guys a rundown of this, but let's just do it again. My suppressor, I mean, this is my hand against this thing. I mean, it's like huge. CO2's going this tube. Pistol grip, trigger guard, you know, basic. Bolt action. Two nine round magazines. Or this is my extra. My other one is actually in the gun right here. Yep. Um, I have these to protect my scope from getting scratched or dust or anything like that. Padded shoulder, which I don't know why it don't kick like nothing. So, but you know, it never hurts. Um. It, it, it does take pellets, but I just, yeah, bold action, you know, basic stuff. So, yeah, there's the rundown of this. Looks amazing. This is just insane. I've almost got it sighted in, and if you guys want, leave a Tell me in the comments below if you want to, if you want to, um, see me teach you guys in case you don't know how to sight in a scoped rifle. If you guys want to, um, see me do that, let me know in the comments down below. Um, this next gun, it is actually my sister's. She never uses it because she is a girl teenager and she don't hunt. Not saying that girl teenagers don't hunt. They some do. So don't make fun of me for the color. This is a pink. This is a Daisy Ponderell thirty five. It's a baby. I, if I'm reading that wrong, if you have one of these, tell me. It is pink camo, yeah. Hey, I'm a man, or er, man, so yeah, who cares? I got the two nice black ones, so I never really use this. Unless I just need something real light, cause those two, cause this rifle's actually kinda heavy. I mean, not really, but still. It is iron sights, it's iron sights, you know, there there it's really light I mean, let me put this on safety i mean i'm picking it up with my pinky and i know what you guys are saying lane that's dangerous you're on the trigger it's on safety there's nothing in the chamber it's fine it's pump you know pump it up put air in it Pew! pull your you uh, pull this back right here, pull this little lever back, put one in the chamber, you're good. Now, there's nothing to load in there, you know, it's fine. You know, it is a rifle. Bam. Very light. I mean, one hand. Pew. Bye bye, birdie. So, yeah. Very light. Good for. Free handing if you're just out looking around, you know, for something. You know, there's gonna be birds or whatever you're hunting above you or something. Or usually blackbird hunting is what me and Perry did. There goes one! Shoot! Shoot. Mm. Got him. Yeah. 
pretty basic. It's good for that. You know, the iron sights. You can easier see your bird or whatever. Very light, so it's good for freehand. So, yeah. There's this. Okay. Now, let's move. So, that's my guns. Now, those are my BB guns. I do have more coming. Okay. Um, just so you know, I'm not crying here. Um, my eyes are just kind of watering. I didn't get up too long ago. I slept in. Um, I have blow darts. These are my, this is my blow dart gun. Just a little cylinder, you know. Um, I have sights on the end here. You just put this on it from back, way back here. Wow. Blow, and you got your target. Now, some people, if you don't know, I'm fishing with Flair. He actually attached a rod to his blow darts and attached string to his blow darts and he would actually reel in what he shot he actually shot a carp with blow darts and reeled them that was awesome so it does have a strap i can put it on me like this or well i put it on like this put it on like that you know i can adjust it you know it's just a loop now carry it if i need it Got him. Um, I have a grip here. It is two pieces. One piece, the blow and stuff. And the bottom piece, which is just the tube and the sights. And the, of course, the thing right here in the middle that connects them. So, and I have these real long arrows the blue tip i have these short but really thick arrows which are yellow and i have another kind hang on open this up here okay i have more blue tips and I have these short and thin arrows. Just like these ones, but they're short. Or they're like that long. You know, you can you can see them inside this. Don't get onto me about what I'm putting them in. This is just a filthy frog lure kit thing. This is what it came with. Go check these out at googansquad.com. These are sick. Um so yeah. These these are actually fishing with flare, this and that, all those guys, Low Joe, all those Googan squad, all those Googans, they all sell this. I actually have two of these. I have this one, and I have this one. This one is I never took it out, but. On my bass rod, I have it right here. I got the green. I haven't used these mainly because I got them at cr for Christmas. Along with the pistol, I got that for Christmas too. And this. So, yeah. Um. Those are really good lures. Go, go, go do Flare. Go, go. I can't talk today. Go do the Googans a favor and go buy some. And you won't regret it. Um, let's see. I have some more things. I have some red tips for the um, blow darts. But I don't have, but I can't find those. I'll look around for them. I'll find them. Okay. 
so that wraps up the guns and stuff. This is this is one of my skinning knives. This is a Frost USA. I don't know if this is a real name, but I call it an Eagle's Claw. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's a real name or not. But that's just what me and my dad call it. The Eagle Claw. So, there's that. Let me get into my door of... Come on. Hunting. Hunting drawer. Okay. Um, orange. Camo shirt. But I had a camo jacket. Other camo shirt. Camo jumpsuit, which that's old. Can't use that. Orange attachment. Ah, there they are. Skinny knife, skinny knife. Okay, I'm just gonna grab all my stuff out of here. Okay. I was gonna stuff. Okay. Just stuff. Okay. So y'all saw the frost. This is my other skinning knife. This is a frost frost cutlery. This is a frost cutlery wooden handle. It's got the rope. Put it on your hand. You can move it up and down. This is a good skinning knife. Very sharp. All my skinning knives are. I sharpen them regularly. Um, and this is my other skin knife. This is one of my favorites. Um, it has the gut hook on it. I think this is either bone or wood handle. I'm not for sure. I think that might be bone. I'm not for sure. Um, you know, like I said, gut hook, standard blade. This is a frost cutlery. Who knew? Two frost cutlers. Hmm. But this is actually, you know, of course, different. It's got the gut hook. It does have the uh, rounded tip, just like this one. But obviously, a little bit bigger. And, of course, the gut hook. My favorite. If you guys don't know what a gut hook is for, it's when you open up a deer. You make a incision. Just make a hole put that gut hook in and rip down and it's so sharp it just shh, cuts her open okay this is not a skinning knife but it is a really good knife it's a big it's a big boy it's got the saw blade got this here don't get on to me about the broken tip that's a story for a different day got a round thing here the handle is wood I broke it kind of so it's being held on by electrical tape which that's really good in your hand this is a frost USA dang I got a lot of the same brands um so yeah this is I've had this knock for a long time my dad actually gave that to me. Okay, now this isn't for gutting. This isn't for cleaning or anything either. This is a multi-tool hatchet. I actually bought this at Walmart. This is the case here says Sheffield. Sheffield? I don't know. This is a Well, yeah, Sheffield. Okay, so it's got the hammer, it's got the hatchet, and it's got a ratchet right there. Hard to kind of get these open. Yeah, this is a knife blade, regular old knife. Close that. This is a saw blade. 
up there. Pretty, actually, pretty neat saw. Close that carefully. Don't want to get cut here. The other one, that's hard to get out. What a shock. Okay, there we go. Now, what we have here, fingernail file right here. Fill it flat head right there. And I think these are descalers. And then a measurer. I think that's a descaler. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. And last, the Phillips head screwdriver and the can opener, bottle opener, you know. So that's the rundown of my some of my knives. I have many more machetes. Uh, a couple more skinny knives, but they're all at my dad's and stuff. Um, and this pocket knife. If I can get it open. Smith and Weston. Right here. Yeah, Smith and Weston. I um, don't know what that last said. I think this is bone, actually. I think this is bone. I think that other one might be bone or wood handle. I'm not for sure. But this is the same bone or wood handle. I'm not for sure. This is a definite wood handle. Um, this is a rustic wood handle, just like that other one. This is a buck. It's got the little clip. This is a small pocket knife. Same as the other one. Pocket knife. Good little knife. This was actually a gift from my uncle. And this one. I actually got at my store. Right here. It's a pocket knife. It's got a, like a plastic or something kind of handle. This is a, hang on, I'm getting a lot, frost, frost cutlery, flying filon, flying filon, I don't know, but yeah, those are the pocket knives that I have just laying around. I forgot one of the knives and all my junk and hunting gloves. They ones. Forgot one of my good knives. This is a sh sharp. Wait, hang on. Stainless steel wand, maybe? Stainless steel wand? It's not stainless steel. I don't know. Stainless tahalan? I don't know. If you know what kind of, what this is, it's right there. If you know what this is, just by the looks of it, by the sheath of it and stuff, let me know. It's stainless, uh, stainless Tahala, 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 I don't know. Okay, moving on to calls. I have a crow call, just a little handheld. Another crow call. <laughs> I've done it. I'm not trying not to be loud here, so. More attachments for the blow darts, you know. Is these things here where I put my darts and then this. So yeah. And I got these two butt calls. 
and turkey calls. So, that's it, really. Other than our trail cameras and BBs and stuff. So, I'm going to end the video here. This is a quite a long video. Um, I'm sure Perry's going to shorten this down. Um, so, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Um, yeah, Ben, yeah, it is day. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, I gotta clean up my room now. It is, uh, it's a mess. I also need to clean up the mess it was before. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Me, be sure to like and subscribe again. And I hope you guys stay safe. Peace out.